Okay, hello guys, and basically today we're on Car Mechanic Simulator, and as you could have guessed by the title, we're building, well we are basically upgrading the FMW Panther. Now I bought this car yesterday along with the Sakura Moon, I, I'm pretty sure it's called, but before I start getting into this car, I just want to say, a comment in my last video said that he got 18% tune on this, and I was a little bit jealous. So I was sitting there for about 5 minutes until I managed to get the 18% tune, which gave my car 1,757 horsepower. Now, as you can see, the quarter mile best time is 49 seconds, but I was reading on the Red Dot Games uh, Facebook uh, page, and they said that they're getting 1.7.03 or 4 or something. And they're going to add uh, tyres, so you can actually drive in a straight line with these cars. But anyway, let's get this on the lifter, and let's see what we can do to it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put it in the dyno, and see how much horsepower it's got. And then we're going to see how fast it does in a quarter mile, so we can see how better we can get it. Alright, test run. Go on. Ooh. That's a hell of a lot more horsepower than I thought it was going to get. Have I ECU tuned it or something? Or is that generally how much power it has? Have I? I haven't. Well, alright, let's take it to the drag strip and see how fast it goes. And look at it. <laughs> it looks like a drift missile. Oh, that look, the inside's cool. This is nice. I do wish Car Mechanic Simulator would add things to do with customising the inside. Like getting a cooler, a cooler shifter. Shit, no, shut up. As a sorry for not uploading twice, um, not uploading yesterday. Oh, look how much of a bleeding drift missile is. Basically, as an apology for not uploading uh, yesterday, I'm, I think I'm going to upload two videos today, but that's just going to take a while because it is uh, four o'clock and it, it's sliding. It's night! Come on, come on. Please say, it's only got. Surely it can drive in a straight line. Wait, what if we start in second gear? Yeah, all right, we're gonna start in second gear. That, that looks better. All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do really early shifts and start in second gear. I feel that's the best thing we can really do. Let go of the throttle. All right, we'll 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 change gears at five five thousand revs. It's already faster than our bleeding. There <laughs> goes Cobra. That's a joke. Okay. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, come on. This is so no 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 Ooh. Well That's a shame. Alright, so this car did not sixty wait it did a quarter mile in fourteen seconds. And I want it to be faster than 14 seconds. I want it to be a 10 second car. Okay. I want it to do not 16, 10 seconds basically. Under 10 seconds. But I don't want to do too much to it. Because it, as you can see my balance is going down. And I sort of want to keep this car. So that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Alright so the first. Right, yeah. I just noticed that it's impossible to. Get two videos out today because it takes about half an hour to well about an hour actually to record these videos means I'll be done by about five. Rendering well editing takes about half an hour because I just press record and then not record on car mechanic simulator videos. And then rendering takes two hours and uploading takes half an hour. So yeah, that's not gonna work. But anyway, let's see if we can do any engine swaps. I just AFK for a minute to make my dad a tea and then I just like flipping, ran and yeah I need to cut. <laughs> right, Andy swaps it. We've already got the supercharger in it I believe. Yep. Alright, so. So, so, so. What can we do to this car? I don't want it to be too powerful. I want it to be drivable. So I want it to be under 800 horses. So what we're going to do is air filter, alternator, I just did that the complete wrong way it'll have two camshafts I believe, if not then I'm a failure gearbox, in fact we're going to change the gearbox first because that's how they, in fact no 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 that's clever, oh throttle as well, we'll see hmm. 
I think we should just upgrade what I've done now. And I don't, I don't want to seem like I'm being lazy, but I generally don't want it to be too powerful, which is quite strange coming from me. I like everything powerful. I've changed a few rails as well, and that was the wrong thing. <coughs> All right, and we'll, oh yeah, obviously we'll do these spark plugs and stuff. Like, why not? Come on, we can do this. So it turns out I bought the wrong camshafts. So that was clever of me. Oh my god, the V8 ones had so much horsepower to it. That's beautiful. Oh, do we have to? Ah! I don't know what it is about this game. But it's so. So like when you when you watch like, mm, I don't. It's sort of nice game, which is really flipping satisfying. Just just be quiet and listen to the screws going in. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, so my God. Right. Basically, I've put the camshaft in. I've changed the alternator to a performance alternator. I've changed the power steering pump to a old an old what a a, a performance alternate a performance. Okay, I've just uh, um I've I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the. Tempest Magnum and the Echoes Cobra video. Already within two days, the Tempest Magnum has got almost 300 views, which is absolutely crazy. Honestly, thank you guys so much. I never thought that. I think 7 views in the first 24. I think it was 80 views actually. 80 views within the first 24 hours of uploading the video. I think that's my record. So I do want to say thank you, thank you so much for that, honestly, it makes me feel really happy. But it's cool when you see that 270 something million people have watched just one of your videos within three days of uploading it. That's a lot of people. I just, like, the only way I can, like, really think about it is imagine that many people just standing in, in, in front of you, watching your video. It's, it's an amazing feeling. I just want to thank you guys so much for that. If any of you guys would like some uh, spare car parts, and you know, I've got a couple of ignition coils, I've got a hundred flipping spark plugs. You know, if any of you guys need anything, then you just give me a shout, and I'll get, I'll, I'll give it to you. All right, fuel rail di, fuel rail di. There you go. That had so much horsepower. I really don't want this car to be too powerful, so I didn't change like the engine, not the engine block, the engine head. I completely forgot what you call it. Alright, so I'm pretty sure all we need to really change now is the gearbox and the air filter. So that means that this hopefully is going to be under 800 horses. Hopefully, maybe, possibly, probably not. If this is rear wheel drive, then I am 100% going to, like, I'm, quite, I haven't, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if the gearbox says RWD on it, then it's rear wheel drive. But if it is rear wheel drive, then I'm definitely making this into my drift car. Definitely. Every car on car mechanic, every person who has car mechanic seems like has to have a drift car. And what better drift car than a Bim Bima? But is it a drift car is the real question. I have no idea. In fact, doesn't the sus back say rear suspension cross member? That looks so busy down there. Oh wait, rear suspension cross member RWD, so I think it's rear wheel drive, I think. Uh, wait, it is rear wheel drive because the drive shaft was coming from the gearbox to the rear suspension cross member. I'm still learning, okay, and I'm pretty sure if the drive shaft, because when my dad was changing the drive shaft with his friends on the Civic, the there was a drive shaft going to that wheel, I think, and a drive shaft going to this wheel. And then there was the stick, yeah, no, I can't, I can't remember how it worked. In fact, wait, there's only one way to know how this works. Right, I was right, okay. The drive shaft kind of thing comes here from the gearbox, and there should be enough one here. Yeah, all right, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If not, then I'm sure my friend, the red bomb, will correct me in the comments below. And also, yes, this is the secure moon. And can I just say... I'm probably going to say this when I'm building this car, but doesn't the front, doesn't it kind of remind you of an Audi TT kind of? It reminds me of like a, the front definitely reminds me of an Audi, like, 
definitely. And then the back remind. They but yeah, it reminds me of a bleed now. That's definitely an Audi. Okay, I've decided it's an Audi. Anyway, anyway, stop getting distracted. Let's get going onto the gearbox. Let's go. Right, guys, you ready for the masterpiece? You ready? Oh, yes. How awesome does this look? Look at the canards on it. The canards, I don't know. Why do I always do that flipping noise? Oh, just look at this. There's only one thing I wish we could do. And that's put a wang on it. But there's no wang, so that's a shame. <sighs> look at it. It's like the front is... Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my gosh. And you guys know what I have to do right now. Oh, my gosh. How does that look? Oh my gosh. Now, how much horsepower does it have now? It's 540. Let's see what it has now. Oh my gosh. That looks so nice. All right, let's let's uh, see what we can do to this. Let's see what the best thing I can get on it is. Right, I managed to get a plus 12 on it, which I think is the best you can get. So, test run. I had 540 horses. Now what has it got? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. I actually did say earlier I won under 800, I think it was, horses. So we literally got almost exact that. That is awesome. And not only is it powerful as hell, I think it's my favourite car. Look how nice it looks. However, there is one problem with it. And that's, will it be able to control itself? Will we have to start in second or third gear? All I want to say is just look how amazing it looks. Oh my god. I'm so happy I went with a black and white. Just look at Look. The back of it. I don't know what I think of the tail lights. to be honest. I feel like, uh... I feel like they don't really match it. It sort of reminds me of a skyline. And I don't really want it to look like a skyline. How about we take these out. And we put... These in. Uh... It sort of looks like a bleeding blue, like a navy blue. It doesn't even look black. What are the stock ones? What are these stock ones? That is the... Yep, yeah, okay. Stock ones are... The rear ones are red, and just red doesn't really... I feel like... Which one looks nicer, do you think? Which one? I think we're going to stick with the skyline-looking ones, okay? We're going to stick with the skyline-looking lights. But just look how amazing this looks. Honestly. Oh my gosh. Right, I think we're going to start in second. In fact, third. Because in second we still will. Alright, we're going to start in third. Let's see. You ready? Come on. Come on, please don't spin. Come on. Come on. Again, we'll change it. Five foot. God damn it! Alright, so we start in third, and we slow down when we sit. My mics came out. Not my mic, my... My headphones come out, so I can't even hear. No, no. Oh my gosh. Just go, just go, just go, just go. We'll change it 5,000 again. I can't hear anything, which means my shifting is going to be horrible. Oh no, we're going to have to restart this. My quarter mile's the same, I think. And that's not very good. Hmm. Let me plug my bleeding mic in. Alright. There we go. We're restarting that. I want at least 10 seconds on the quarter mile. Hell no, I'm having 14 seconds. Alright, come on. Go. Yep. Come on, stop. Come on, 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 come on. Less than 14 seconds, surely. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Uh, I mean, it's an improvement. We're going to have to wait till we've got those new tyres to test all of the cars not 60s I know we are. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. The lag spikes there, Jesus Christ. That's running 50 frames per second and then it went to flipping... F what? That's got lags... Okay guys, so if any of you guys have watched this point in the video, I want you to comment below what is your favourite looking car and why. Personally, I think probably the FMW Panther. I have not, I don't know, I feel like white and black and especially with this hood, without the bleeding vent kind of on the hood. Is that a vent? Is it got a 
yeah, I think it's a limp. Without it, it would be. Pr I, it's, it's so nice. Just look, look how nice this car is. Oh, I can't see in the back seats, but look. Is it? Wait a minute. 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 All right, that's good. <laughs> when you're sitting in the passenger seat, you can only see two pedals. So I thought it was a manual car with two pedals. That'd be awkward, wouldn't it? But honestly, this car looks amazing. But on, just thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and just thank you for watching. Look how nice this car is. Uh huh. <laughs>